हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन बबीता साइंस टूटोरियल लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर न्यू टॉपिक 1.4 कैन मैटर चेंजेस द स्टेट ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ साइंस एन सी बुक दिस इज पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ चैप्टर वन ने इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल स्टडी अबाउट कैन मैटर चेंज इट स्टेट नो इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक I already एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर देन मैटर कैन डिवाइडेड इन टू द सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस ओके दीज आर द थ्री स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस ना क्वेश्चन इज कैन यू कन्वर्ट the solid into the liquid and liquid into the gas today our topic is this one let's start now then in this paragraph they want to state uh, that um, solid example of the solid is a given here ice liquid example of the liquid is a given here water and gas is a water vapor then question is uh can you convert this one can you convert this ice into the water and can convert the water into the water papers how you will convert it now then uh, some questions are given here what happened when inside the matter during the change of state what happens to the particles of a matter during the change of state how this change of state takes place we need answer to this question isn't it now students very simple here question is asking what happens then answer is a very simple due to the temperature due to the temperature or heat we can change the states of a matter no now here some activities is given with the help of this activity we can understand better now here it's a 1.41 effect of a change of a temperature means what happen when we we'll give the temperature or when you will heat the substances can it change its states of matter can solid convert it into the liquid with the help of the temperature let's do this in this activity now in, in this activity uh, it's a 1.21 12 in this activity they want to say that take about 150 g of ice in a beaker and suspend a laboratory thermometer so that its bulk is in contact with the ice so students a laboratory thermometer is a uh, different from the clinical thermometer clinical thermometer we can used for the measurement of the body temperature human body temperature and laboratory thermometer we can used in the lab uh, doing the practicals now question uh, they want to say take a 150 g of a ice in beaker now you will see this diagram here this is your diagram no and this one is the beaker this one is a burner okay and this is stand pot and this one is a ice inside the beaker is a ice and this one beaker and this one is the glass uh, sorry thermometer and this one is the glass rod and this one is a iron stand with the help of this iron stand we can hold the anything constantly no let's uh, start this activity they want to say uh, in the beaker take a 150 g ice no 150 g of ice in a beaker this one 150 g of ice in beaker and suspend a suspend a laboratory thermometer now you will see here this one is a, a this one is a ice and another one is a now when uh, when we we'll heat this ice then it will convert it into the water no you will see this ice is in this one second one in this one ice is converted into the water now how it will happen it will happen due to the 
directly to the here temperature temperature is supplied by this burner here that's why ice that why ice ice is a solid form ice is a sorry ice ice is a solid form okay and it is a converted into the liquid means solid converted into the liquid by applying heat here by applying here heat here then in this way we can see that by uh, by giving temperature by applying heat we can convert the solid into the liquid so these are the two activities here given then you see figure 1 points in conversion of ice to water and second is a conversion of a water to water vapor so we can convert the ice to water and second uh, we can convert the water to water vapor ice is a solid here and water is a liquid it means solid is a converted into the liquid and here liquid is a converted into the water then in this way we can see that yes we can change the states of a matter so with the help of this uh, two activities uh, we can say that we can change the uh, states of matter now next one is uh, no, uh, here it is written. Uh, start heating the beaker on low flame. Note the temperature when the ice start melting. Note the temperature when all the ice has converted into the water. Record your observation for this conversion of solid into the liquid. Put a glass rod in the beaker. Students here, glass rod. We can use the glass rod for uh, mixing of anything. It is a transparent, it is a made of the glass and we can use in the lab for mixing any substances in the beaker. Then uh, what we, uh, what I have uh, explained you about this activity, this is uh, written here. Now see this paragraph here. In this paragraph they want to say that if we increase the temperature, if we increase the temperature of a solid, the kinetic energy of the particles increase. Kinetic energy means it is one kind of the energy which helps in the movement of the particles of the substance. If we increase the temperature, then kinetic energy of the particles also increases. Then due to the increase in uh, kinetic energy, the particles start vibrating with a greater speed means here they want to see the kinetic energy kinetic energy also depends upon the temperature if we increase the temperature then kinetic energy will increase okay and it will increase the it will help in the uh, uh, start the particles vibrating with a greater greater speed and this kinetic energy supplied by heat overcomes the forces of attraction between the particles the students you know that in the uh, three states of matter solid liquid and gas force of attraction is a uh, different in this one we can see that in the solid force of attraction is a uh, more and in the liquid less and uh, in the gas uh, more less okay in the gas so how you will overcome the force of attraction by raising the temperature by raising the temperature you will uh, overcome the forces of attractions between the particles now the particles leave their position and start moving more freely a state is raised when the solid melts and is converted to liquid the minimum temperature at which a solid melts to become a liquid at the atmospheric pressure is called the melting point. Students here one definition came here. Melting point. So what is the melting melting point means when the solid is converted into the liquid. That is called the melting. Okay. Now definition is here. The minimum temperature at which a solid melts 
to becomes a liquid at the atmospheric pressure is called the melting point now in this paragraph they written uh, in the in this uh, uh, blue paragraph the melting point of the solid is an indication of the strength of the force of attraction between its particles yes it's true it's true means uh, if melting point is a more of any substances it means force of attraction is a more in that substances now let's start here another paragraph in this paragraph they want to say that uh, the melting point of ice is a 273.15 kelvin now student here k k came here k is the kelvin kelvin is the another unit of the temperature that's why we will read here 273.15 kelvin you know the freezing point of water is a zero degree celsius and the melting point of the water is a also zero degree celsius and the boiling point of the water is a hundred degree celsius now students when you will convert the melting point of a water in uh, a melting point of a water in kelvin then what you will do you will just add the 273 kelvin suppose that uh, the melting point of water the melting point of water is a the melting point of water is a zero okay zero degree celsius then you have to convert zero degree celsius you have to convert into the kelvin then what you will do here you will add the just zero you will add here zero plus 273 273 kelvin it is a two 73 kelvin it means we can say 0 degree if you have to convert the degree celsius into the kelvin then you have to add the here 273 then we can see that the melting point of the ice is a 273 kelvin okay if i will ask to you what is the melting point of a water in degree celsius then what's your answer then your answer is a zero degree celsius but if i will ask to you in the kelvin then your answer is a 273 kelvin then we can see that in the kelvin the melting point of the ice is a 273 kelvin that is so called the melting melting point now let's proceed now uh, uh, the melting point of ice is the 273.15 degree uh, 15 kelvin the process of melting that is change of a solid state into the liquid state is known as a known as a fusion what when it means when will convert the solid into the liquid then we can see that it is it, this one is known as the fusion now students another topic is when a solid melts its temperature remains the same so where does the heat energy go then student i think uh, first you will understand this all these points then later on i will explain you further lines that is your question when a solid melts its temperatures remains the same so where does the heat energy go then i will explain you this one in my next video if you have any problem related to this one then you will comment me in my comment box till then bye have a nice day